Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Siberia. We got another dusting of snow last night. Today, we are going to be diving into bubbles. Finding out why the heater's not working. Okay guys, we're back at the shop and we are going to try and diagnose the problem with bubbles as far as the heater is concerned. We know that it's got a few issues, the emergency brake doesn't work, tires rub, all that good stuff, but we need heat because we're driving this thing in the winter time. So we're going to dive in, we've got a test light and we've got a uh, voltmeter. We're going to start checking a few things and see where we go from there. So as you can see, I've got the whole bottom part of the driver's side of the bottom dash all tore apart looking for signs of uh, you know burnt wires or whatever i haven't found anything over there so this is the blower motor up in behind this panel there's a little plug-in and that is where the blower motor resistor is and what the blower motor resistor does is it switches the speeds of your fan so sometimes if you've got a vehicle where the fan only works on number four or five or one or two it's the blower motor resistor that controls that and usually those aren't too expensive anywhere from you know 30 to 60 bucks in most cases but while i was digging around here kind of tucked up in behind the blower motor is this little rig right here and it's all plugged in and it looks like a relay so when i started poking and prodding around that i did find that on this little beige colored wire here that there is power going to that and I can hear the relay inside clicking. So it tells me the relay is working, but for some reason, when it does, there's no more power on any other of these switches. But watch what happens when I short it. So sorry for the dinging, but with the key on, I can jump this into there, and the other end into one of these. Right there, and I have full control of my blower. So, that tells me that the problem is with this little relay somehow. So we're gonna tear it apart and see what we can find. So we tore the little relay apart and, well, we didn't find anything. The relay was fine. I did manage to get in there and uh, file down the points a little bit, clean it up just in case. Uh, but the relay is clicking as soon as we put power to it. We're just not getting the power we need or the ground if this works on a grounding system. So I feel confident that that relay is doing exactly what it's supposed to. We can make it work. Uh, we can control it through the controller. So it tells me the controls are working, but somewhere we're missing power. So we're gonna keep poking and prodding. Well, thankfully for me, Tim was bored tonight and he felt the need uh, or he felt like he wanted to come help me out see if we could figure out what was wrong with this thing so if you look right where that camper with a flashlight is shining you'll see a bunch of green stuff and that's corrosion 
and we've determined that way back in there, those two wires, those are white wires, and that one's loose. That one's broke. And that's what sends power back to the all the heating stuff down here in this corner. So we knew we had power, we jumped it, everything worked, and now we're at the point where Jason's we, gotta fix it. <laughs> Jason's gotta fix it. Anyways, I think we found the problem, so we have to get the fuse box out and upside down and see what we can do to fix that wire. So there's our wire right there with the connector broke off of it because it's corroded. So that is our problem. Now to get the uh, fuse panel out and get her fixed up. There's the connector. And you can see how green that is inside there. Those, one of those wires, the one that was broken, was absolutely was absolutely shot so rather than reuse the fuse panel we don't have a spade connector that would receive that so we're just going to use a couple of those inside the actual main fuse and run it up beside the fuse panel so Tim had a great idea this would not be true a red a true redneck repair unless we were using household my rats to hold the wires together. Who needs a fuse? <laughs> <laughs> so now we know it doesn't look very pretty, but here's our fuse, our main 40 amp fuse. We've got it tied into main power and we've got it connected to the two leads that were going inside the vehicle. And if we come over here, turn the key on, And we have heat once again in the old bubbles. So we've got some tidying up of the wires over here. We've got to put these wires back up in the dash there, put that all together. Get this all put back together. And I'm going to tidy this up and we will be done for the night. There you have it guys. Once again, bubbles will be back on the road. So because it is getting so late tonight, it's about uh, 9.30 right now, and I should be home kicking it up, and I'm not, I'm here. But we managed to get this all fixed up. We now have heat back in bubbles, and uh, so I'm going to tidy this mess up. I can get back home and start editing this video so that you guys have something to watch on this Saturday morning. So guys, the contest for 1,000 subscribers is still on. What we have to do is we've got to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers by January 31st and I personally will be giving away $1,000 to a lucky subscriber. So watch these videos, share them with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Guys, merchandise is available in the first link in the description box below. I also have some at home. If you are interested, you can email me. My email address is in the description box as well, or you can go to the Bonfire website down below and purchase your very own. Many colors to choose from, hoodies, tees, very reasonable prices. If you order now, you just might get it before Christmas. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you, God bless. We will see you in the next upload. Cut!